I was a crack head, not a crack hoe. Don't, no, don't try to come for me. When nobody sent for you, nigga. This not what you want from me. I ain't never had to borrow. Never. I spend like no tomorrow. <laughs> Won't catch me in the daytime, cause it be low key at the night show. I got that weight, I've been in the gym. Ah. And now I could really fly. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Faithful Gang. What is up, my trusty gang, gang members? Who is the Faithful Gang? Anybody who like, comment, share, subscribe, and tells all their friends that we lit on this channel. It's easy to be part of the Faithful Gang. You ain't gotta get jumped in or nothing. Okay, so we just gonna get straight into the video. As you can see by the titles, I don't want everybody in my business. But I mean, everybody done stole a time or two in their life. Some of y'all steal now. Some of y'all plan on going to steal still after this. I hope me telling this story ain't triggering some of y'all stealing emotions and y'all ready to go steal now because look, stealing is bad. Look, I got it on it. Part of my mama's testimony as she gang bang for the Lord. And I'm not trying to blame nobody or nothing, but my mama will tell you herself. I was a crack head, not a crack hoe. So I'm not going to sell myself, but I will sell this shit that I stole. And you could... You know what I'm saying? Exchange that for some little drugs, little money or whatever. So I grew up seeing stealing, which I said, I'm not going to blame nobody. It's nobody's fault. Everybody has their own choices in life. But I mean, when you grow up and your parents are boosters, some people don't understand what the term booster is. A booster is somebody who steals for a living. Just like some people go to work for a living. Sometimes when people have a drug habit, they got to supply their drug habit. Of course, I was taught to steal with class. Like, you never steal from somebody. So anybody hearing this story don't never got to worry about me stealing from them or if they can trust me because I'm not a thief. I'm low key glad I got caught stealing because if I didn't, I would have never stopped. I started stealing at a very young age. Honestly, like for people who steal, you know that stealing is like an adrenaline rush. A lot of times we be stealing for no reason. If y'all didn't see my last story time with my favorite purses, make sure you look in the description box and you go and see that story as well. In that story, I showed you one of my favorite purses. So that purse was bought by my work husband. He is so funny. He gonna call me tell about, I'm just calling to check on you. <laughs> it's your work husband. I'm like, boy, you my work ex-husband, okay? Because... If you don't remember in the video where I told y'all I was going to tell y'all the whole story about that so I could just go ahead and tie it all in here, just stick with me because I don't even really know how to tell this story to y'all, but it's going to be a good one. I had this work husband or whatever, and remember I said we was dating? We didn't really go mm. on... I don't think we went on dates outside of work, but we definitely went on lunch dates like every single day. After work, we didn't really see each other. I don't really hang out after work because I got kids, I got stuff to do. And you know, he had kids too and apparently a girl at home. And one of my homegirls asked me like, I always see you with this dude, like what's up with y'all? Let me hug on something so I could tell y'all this little story. So I'm just like, oh, you know, we be going out, we be hanging out, whatever. She's like, do you know that he has a girlfriend? And I'm like, what? He got a girlfriend. She like, yeah, he got a girlfriend. So like I said, we was going out all the time. But then after I found out he had a girlfriend, I low key like, I don't know if I just started kind of like avoiding him at work. I feel like it was a period of a time, like I said, we was together every day and then now I don't see you for like a week or two. So one day I get to work, he comes up to me and he's like, I got this gift for you. I'm going over to his desk. He got this big old Michael Kors bag. How you like that? So I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like at that time too, I was a Michael Kors whore. In my mind, he knows that I love Michael Kors because he always see me with it. Now, I know when you see this video, you're going to call me so you can correct me if you want to. But from what I thought is that you got the purse for me, which it was super random. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, you know, I like Michael Kors. So that's why you gave me the bag. But it was literally random as hell because we have not talked. And like, you know what? To somebody like him, like he honestly is a boss. So money ain't nothing. So it's not like, oh, 
Mm. Oh my God, he bought me this super expensive bag and like he broke the bank. Like I'm pretty sure it was chump change to him as well. So it's nothing. But after I tell y'all what happened, you will see why I'm thinking that the bag was not initially for me. He got me the bag and then after he got me the bag, for some reason our communication just went cold one day i went to the store and i had found some earrings that matched the purse because the purse has a bunch of roses on it these huge these huge rose earrings that looked exactly like the roses on the purse so i had got the earrings so i hadn't talked to him in a while or whatever but of course the earrings made me think about him so I texted him a picture of the earrings and I was like, thanks again. I really love the bag and look at these earrings that I got to go with the bag. Like an hour later, I get a text back that said, are you dumb? What? Before I responded back to that, I literally stared at that message for a long time. I stared at the message for a long time because I'm just like, he is super respectable. Like this dude is a very respectful dude like he would never talk to me like this so why is he texting me this message i haven't he haven't talked to me in a while i haven't really seen him at work he haven't really texted me and then now he's texting me asking me am i dumb so part of me was like this is him like why is he talking to me like this but then another part of me was like this is a bitch. <laughs> Sounds like a mad bitch at that. So, of course, I text back like, no, but you clearly are. She texts me back something else. I don't remember. Like, the, the, the exchange between us was very brief because, bitch, you're, I treated you. Like, I don't know if he bought the bag for you and you was acting up, but, bitch, you're dumb. Because why would you act up around Valentine's Day? And now you got your gift given to the work wife. I don't know. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you're going to call me and clear it up or whatever. But don't call me last me time I know the bag was for you all along. Like, if the bitch lost her bag, that's fine. That's fine. That's on her. I, I gained a, a very nice bag. But look, like I said in the last video, that bag had a stealing spirit on it, obviously, because the nigga who baby mama gave me the bag must have felt stole from. She must have felt stole from because... Why is you texting me? He telling me that, oh, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing between them. But I don't know. I'm not even finna say nothing about that. Because I didn't have a baby daddy before. Then we wasn't together. And I still went through the nigga phone. It's more so when you don't mess with somebody. And you go through their phone. Like when you and your baby daddy not messing with each other no more. But you go through his phone. You're more so getting information. Like for yourself so you could be like i knew i should stop messing with this dude like he lying he acting like he trying to make it work between us but obviously he still got other shit on the side now i see for myself i'm not gonna fuck with him no more i will only text back bitches when me and him was together let me just because i'm not trying to make this video super long even though some of y'all gonna tap and look at the time and be like well damn you didn't try hard enough i'm trying y'all i'm trying to tell y'all everything and as little as possible all right so or I don't remember how it came up, but we eventually ended up talking again. And so we actually met outside in the parking lot at work one day and he showed me all the text messages that I had not responded to. And I showed him all the text messages that he had not responded to. And we realized that neither one of us had gotten any of those text messages. I said, when I told y'all, like after he gave me the bag, we lost contact, which was really weird. Like, Come to find out, I was texting him and she had me blocked and he was texting me and she had it where, I don't know, I guess if you block somebody and you text them, it don't go through. Like, I don't really know how that works, but I wasn't getting none of his text messages and he wasn't getting mine either. So everything was going through the baby mama. So we seen each other at work. We end up talking about it and he told me like, no, nah, we not together. That's a lie. She don't be bringing me to work. I take an Uber to work every day like mm -hmm. your homegirl lying. Who is your homegirl that's telling me telling you all this information? Which, of course, I'm not going to tell who my homegirl is that's giving me the information. But it low-key, it sounds like my homegirl had a lot of information. She didn't have all of it, but she definitely had information. Like, it was something going on because since she all in your phone doing all of this, like, 
the girl didn't text me, didn't block me, then did all of this stuff in your phone, but y'all not together. I don't know. I mean, she could just be a crazy baby mama. And sometimes, like, you do be in a relationship because you can't afford to get out of it. I have been there before, so I know how that goes when you still living with somebody. But if you living with somebody and because you can't afford to leave, like, don't be still fucking them. Like, that's weird. You're still in a relationship with them then. Like, a lot of niggas be trying to be like, oh, I live, me and my baby mama live together, but we not together. But at the same time, you still trying to fuck on her. Like, you're dumb. You're dumb. Like, some niggas looking like, how is that dumb? How is that dumb? Like, you're dumb if you still fucking on this bitch and then you trying to talk to other people. And now you creating this hostile environment and, and, and all this conflict. Like, at what point is y'all finna get too old for drama? That's high school stuff. Like, stop being childish. Y'all ugly as hell for that. I don't care how cute you is. Boy, you ugly as hell. That's the type of stuff you do. But anyway, and girl, because females be doing it too. But anyway. So, okay, we hashed it out. We cool now. Back to the bag. So, like I said, I feel like it must have been a stealing spirit on this bag. Because, like, one day. Okay. So, like I told y'all, I was raised by boosters. At one point in my life, my family was boosters. That's what they did for a living. I saw them do these things to the point where when I was a child, I used to... When I was a child, it was like I thought it was a game. Like, I, I thought it was a game. And it was some things that my parents would do, like... There's this one thing that I saw where if I hate to like give y'all stealing tactics and tell y'all how to do this shit. Like some people already know how to do this, but I'm not going to tell y'all all of it because I don't want to tell y'all everything. If you know what I'm talking about, then you could just comment below. But there's this receipt thing. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when I was a little girl, like one day, like one day I just picked up a receipt off the ground and told my dad like here here's a receipt you know what I'm saying and like it's a lot of times when you don't realize that your kids are watching you and your kids see everything that you're doing and you like you're just living your life doing your thing but then your kids you know they're like here daddy here's a receipt you know what I'm saying and he's looking like so like I said growing up especially like in california with a drug habit like drug habit parents like california whatever my mom and mary j blige had the same had the same drug lady and my mom would have seen mary j blige at this lady house like a few times i remember when i seen her my mama told me who she was but i you know I was like, I didn't really know who Mary J. Blige was back then. Because I was a little girl. I didn't understand who she was. But my mom was telling me, like, that's her. She's like, she don't look nothing like how she be looking on TV. Because she used to look toe up back in the day when she was doing them drugs. But anyway, that's besides the point. Like, thank God she got clean. Thank God my mama got clean. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my mama said it, she had got a wake-up call. Because one day the drug lady had told my mama, like, you see that? Like, my mom, she had pulled up in, like, this new Benz. And my mom was like, wow, that's a really nice car. And she was just like, you bought me that. And my mom said that's when it hit her, like, wow. Like, I'm over here stealing all this shit for you and buying all these drugs from you. And, damn, you driving a Benz. And my baby daddy then just sold the damn family van for some drugs. But that's neither here nor there either i grew up seeing stealing and just seeing the game and stuff like that so as a very young child i started stealing when i got the holy spirit and the lord came into my life he showed me i did not have to steal no more so i stopped stealing i, I completely stopped stealing i probably stopped stealing when i was like 17 years old so now i have the holy spirit and one day you know i have a dream about me stealing I'm talking about I got a bag and I'm I'm stealing. I'm stealing. And I wake up from the dream like, oh my gosh, Lord, like why am I dreaming about me stealing? Like I don't steal no more. I never want to steal again, you know? But I just feel like that was a foreshadowing of God showing me like what I was gonna do years 
from then, which is so crazy. It took me all the way up until, what, like five years ago to steal again? So, which is crazy because like when I said, when I seen the dream, I'm like, oh my God, I don't steal and I never want to steal again. And he's like, no, in about 15 years, you're going to steal again. Okay, the bag. So one day I'm at the store and y'all ever be at the store and you see something that you want and you don't want to buy it, but you want it <laughs> for like a thief. Like there, there, that's the perfect recipe right there. So I saw something that I wanted, but I didn't want to buy it. And like, just, I mean, as easy as I could, like all I did was just boop, put that shit in the backpack. I leave, I get away with it. I'm like, damn, okay. So the next time I'm, I'm at the store and I want all these things and I didn't want to buy them. So I just put them in the backpack. So for like a few months straight after that, it was on, you know, especially when I saw like one day I went and like, I took so much stuff, like you could fit so much stuff in that backpack. So I was just like, this is my thing you know what i'm saying like i'm good at it i'm back at it and i was fitting so much stuff in that backpack like i was stealing all type of things i was stealing everything anything i wanted anything which is crazy because i had a good job i had a lot of money going in i was hustling too at the time so it's like i didn't have to steal and it was really no reason for me to steal it was really just a rush and i guess me seeing like pushing the limits to see how much stuff could I get away with? It's been months. Like, I didn't link up with friends who steal, which I didn't know my friends stole. They just end up stealing. So I'm just like, no, nah, girl, this is how you do it. So I'm over here showing people how to steal better. Now I got a friend who steals. So now we going to the store. We taking stuff. I'm stealing on my own mostly because, of course, I don't want to be with nobody when I'm stealing. Like, I'm not dumb. But it was just a couple times I went to the store with a friend. We stole. But for the most part, it was just me going to the store taking just shit that i wanted but didn't want to pay for i guess because i was getting away with it so much in my mind like i was untouchable so i started going to this new store that i had never been to before i had just was driving one day and stumbled on it and was like wow i'm gonna go in here so I went in there. I didn't steal like every time I went in there. I, I didn't steal for the first couple times I went in there. But maybe like the third or fourth time, there was some stuff that the kids had wanted that I didn't want to pay for again. So I took it and I had got away with it. So my kids did had the kids and I was on my way to the grocery store that day. So he called. He was like, I'm about to drop the kids back off. And I'm like, well, you need to meet me at this store because that's where I'm at. That day, boy, I thought I was too cute, okay? I had my little black and yellow Jordans on. I had me a little black and yellow um, jumpsuit on, like sweatpants with the, with the hoodie. Like, I mean, I just, I was like, I am too cute. Had my natural hair going, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, I am, I'm just too cute. I'm just too cute today. So had my little, had my little purse. I get in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna sit you over to the side, okay? Okay, y'all. Here's where it starts getting a little <sighs> messy. Let me fix my, fix my clothes for this one. Okay, so, so, if you a baby daddy or a baby mama that is not the main provider of your kids and you take your kids like on the weekends and your baby mom or your baby dad sends the kids with a bag, like pack all that shit back up that they gave you and send it back. My kid's dad is good for getting a backpack and sending the kids home with nothing. He does that so much and every time. And to the point where, like, he want to be like, oh, you don't ever send the kids with nothing and kind of make me look like the bad guy because I don't send the kids with nothing. But I'm not doing that anymore because I buy all their stuff and then I send it 
with you and then you never send it back so now i gotta rebuy them some more stuff like make the math math send the shit back like it's your kids like the kids need their stuff when they go home me and the kids is tired of this man because the kids don't even be realizing that they finna go home because if they did they would pack their stuff up but he usually tell them like oh, okay kids come on let's let's get in the car like as if they finna just go for a ride or something like that and then he brings them home so the kids get in the store and the kids are mad they're like daddy sent us back home without our stuff again i'm like what he didn't send y'all stuff they like no nah. now i have just bought my kids i have bought these i have bought them electric toothbrushes and if anybody knows about electric toothbrushes y'all know electric toothbrushes are expensive and i have times three they was like daddy kept our toothbrushes so i was like what the hell like i'm tired of this man not sending y'all stuff back and i just bought them toothbrushes like i shouldn't even send y'all with no toothbrushes like i should just make him bag y'all the thing he ain't sending toothbrushes back so i was like okay well of course i'm 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 the stealing queen mind you i specifically remember around this time like i had so much money I had so much money. I remember specifically having thousands of dollars at that time too, like thousands. I remember having a big ass comma in my bank account. And like after I got caught, I just remember thinking like, that's when I realized that I had a problem. So let me finish telling the story. I put three toothbrushes and some toothpaste, cause why not? I mean, you stealing everything else, you get the toothpaste to go with it. I remember putting three toothbrushes and some toothpaste in my purse and like paying for everything else that I had except that. Cause I was just like, I just bought y'all this stuff. I don't want to rebuy it. As I'm walking out the store, this guy grabs my bag, which is sitting in the car and he's like, come with me about the stuff that you got in your purse so like this is the first time i've been caught stealing so i didn't know what to do like if i would have thought about it now i would have took my fucking purse from him because first of all you you can't you can, i don't care if i'm in your store stealing you can't take shit from me but see people don't be knowing their rights so he took my purse out the car you're going to jail if I would have knew better, I would have, I would have left. Like, they really can't do shit to you, but call the police. Like, they can't do shit to you. They can only do what you let them do. If you let them take you in that back room, then you're in there. But if you be like, I'm not going nowhere with you. And I snatched my purse back from him and left and put my groceries in the car and kept it moving. You know, it, w it wouldn't have been nothing that he could have did. He would have had to call the police and they would have had to catch me and you saw me taking three toothbrushes the police wasn't finna do shit about that the police wasn't finna do shit about that like i didn't even take enough stuff for it to even be damn near a misdemeanor like come on now y'all had me on 12 dollars worth of shit of course no i shouldn't have been stealing the shit but i feel like i was meant to get caught that day because that's the day that i stopped stealing that's the day that i realized like not only am i not untouchable like i just got caught stealing in front of my kids like i felt like how when i was a kid my mom used to get caught stealing and like that was just the worst you know i didn't want to never put my kids in that situation again i didn't never want to be in that situation again like they got me in the back and they made me sign some papers saying i was gonna pay this fine and then if yes. i didn't pay the fine and that if i didn't pay the fine i was it was gonna be a warrant out for my arrest um, which, I mean, like I said, they'll just tell you anything. They'll tell you anything because w what warrant? What warrant? I'm not going to pay y'all no goddamn fine. You already did find me in my pride. You just, God damn it, took a picture of me. They got a picture of me, y'all. They took a picture of me for their store wall or whatever. I don't really care because, like I said, I had my natural hair that day. I never... Well, now I wear my natural hair, but back then I ain't wear my natural hair. 
I didn't give a shit. Like, I was the wig queen, okay? So, y'all caught me on the day that I looked like I never looked before. So, I wasn't really worried about that, but they did ban me from the store. And they're like, you're banned from the store. So, I was really happy when COVID came around because I was definitely back in that bitch, like, with a mask on. Like, catch me, coppers. <clears throat> catch me. Catch me. Okay? And I, I be in that store all the time. Y'all ain't finna do nothing. Ain't did nothing, won't do nothing. I'm glad that I got caught because after that day, I realized I don't need to do this. I'm doing this because I have a problem. I have thousands of dollars. I just got caught stealing some like $12 worth of two toothbrushes. This is not the store that I be really hitting. It's another store that I be hitting, hitting. So I would hate to get caught still in there because I would they would definitely have a case on me like the police be there all the time I'm editing the video so um, I'm sure you can tell that the camera angle changed this is the part that I want to share with y'all how goddamn dumb of me to go stealing in fucking yellow okay I had the black and yellow Jordans on with a all yellow jumpsuit so, of course, first of all, me walking in the store looking bright fucking yellow and thick as hell, I'm pretty sure that whoever was on the camera didn't catch who else was still in that damn day. They was just watching me. They probably weren't even watching me for the sake of watching me thinking that I was going to steal. They was probably just watching me like, who is this pretty ass thick bitch that just came up in here? And then they end up getting lucky. Like, really? Really? Did I think it was really okay to go steal in goddamn all fucking bright yellow? Like, what a fool. It was just really a wake up call and I stopped stealing. And you know, it's like with any addiction because the stealing was an addiction. When you have an addiction to something for the rest of your life, you battle that addiction, whether you know it or not. You always have the voices or the temptation or something in your head that tell you to do it again. Whenever I hear that voice telling me to steal again, I just tell myself, I don't have to do that because I trust the Lord. The Lord got me and the Lord is going to take care of me. The Lord has always taken care of me and I'm not going to block my blessings by stealing this little old bitty bullshit. I'm not going to block my blessings. I'm not going to block what God has for me because I want to steal $10 worth of stuff because I just have an addiction. I got thousands of dollars in my wallet and I don't want to pay for this like... Even now, like, regardless of what it is, like, I mean, if I want it, I'm going to pay for it or I'm not going to have it. But I'm definitely not going to steal it because, like I said, I don't have time to be getting caught. I don't have, I have a clean record. Okay, I didn't made it this far without ever being booked. Why would I wait until I got into my 30s to get a record? Like, that would be so stupid of me to mess up my background now in life i had to explain to my kids what happened because they wanted to know like why they take you in that room why this this and that like i wasn't gonna hold that from them i wanted to let them know so that they can know that stealing is not okay if y'all have seen me stealing like i said when i went up to my dad and was like dad i got a receipt he had no idea that i had been watching him do what he was doing i remember there was a time when my son asked me could we have something and i told him no and he was like well can you just put it in your purse and i'm thinking this nigga been seeing me put stuff in my purse. Like, that's embarrassing. You don't realize that your kids be seeing everything that be going on. You don't want to raise no thieves. I would hate for, just like how I saw my parents stealing, for me to raise some kids that thought stealing was okay and got older and got themselves in some situations. And everybody has their own choice. But at the same time, you're also a product of your environment. So... What type of person would I be to pass on that trait to my kids? Especially when my parents stopped doing it too. Like, they don't even steal no more. Now I'm just out here stealing and teaching my kids to do it. Like, ugh, that's so disgusting. I hope you guys liked that video. That is the video of me getting caught stealing. If you like this video, go ahead. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. This is Story Week, and I'm going to be telling you seven stories back to back for the next week.
If you want to be a part of the faithful gang, which you should want to be a part of the faithful gang, all you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell all your friends we live on this channel. I love you. God loves you. And as always, we're going to see you in the next video.